case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1970 Supreme Court case of New Jersey, State v. Mulvihill, a contentious exploration into excessive force used by police during arrest and the limits of self-defense took the center stage. At issue was whether a citizen, having been subjected to unreasonable force by an officer, could resort to self-defense and stand their ground without fear of repercussions. Mulvihill found himself in the crosshairs of legal conflict when he allegedly attacked a police officer during his arrest. The confrontation arose when the officer spotted Mulvihill pouring a liquid into a paper cup being held by another individual. Amid subsequent inquiries, Mulvihill discarded the cup and fell silent. The situation escalated when Mulvihill hit the officer in the face after a heated exchange involving some physicality, including the officer reportedly shaking him and threatening him with his gun. During trial court proceedings, Mulvihill's appeal to claim self-defense was swiftly dismissed, resulting in a contentious conviction. The central debate revolved around whether Mulvihill's use of force was justified and if his arrest had been lawfully conducted. In an unexpected turn of events, an appeal emerged victorious for Mulva Hill. The Supreme Court ruled that he indeed had the right to assert a claim of self-defense against brute force. Granted, his force in response was reasonable. The court emphasized that the validity of Officer Dowling's account was pivotal in dictating the outcome of Mulvey Hill's conviction. Subsequently, the conviction was dissolved and the case was forwarded for another round in the courtrooms. The dramatic retrial was met with unanimous agreement from all seven judges, reflecting the gravity of the case in shedding light on the labyrinthine relationship between law enforcement and citizens' rights. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.